All right, so here we go. We're going to begin uh, putting in doors. You can see I've added some stuff since we last looked at mine. I've added uh, this wall that, you know, this would be Mrs. Harris's area, and I've added the two closets over here. So what I want to work on now is how to add doors. Now, we're not actually going to work on the actual doors. We're going to work on the hole in which the door will be placed. Uh, placing the doors will be given actually in another time. So let's start with this door right here. If I look at my figure, I can find easiest um, for me would be that this door is a standard 36 inch door. All right, I'm going to zoom in slightly here. And I know that this door is one and a half feet in this way. So I'm going to type one and six inches in. So there is that point at one and a half. Now, I'm going to take it up, and it's going to be 80 inches tall because the act, the average door is 80 inches. All right, now I'm going to go 36 inches this direction. All right, Oop, that doesn't look right. Undo. So I'm going to go here and go 36 inches. Wow. All right, and down there. And that's probably why it didn't look so great. I was just at a weird perspective. So there I am. Now, that's my door. That's uh, 80 inches tall, 36 inches across. And all I have to do is use this push-pull push, this push -pull tool right here. And I'm going to then push it all the way through. And there it is. That's created my hole for me to put my door in later. All right. Once again, I can see it right here. There's my hole. And right here would be the walkway, and there's my hole. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. All right, um, I'm going to do it over here to enter into this closet. All right, now this closet, this is actually two closets here. Um, I'm going to start with this one. So these closets are slightly smaller than 36. They are... 32 inches. I'm going to double check on my measurements to make sure. All right. And so actually the what we call the video closet is 32, but this one is, I'm glad I looked, is actually um, 36. So I know it's nine inches in. So I'm going to go to my corner. I'm going to go nine inches. All right. And there's my nine inch point. I'm going to come up 80 inches. I'm going to come over 36 inches. Now I'll just come right back down using my blue, and there it is. So I'm going to go grab my push pull and drag it to the right until it goes away. And there is my hole. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to select this little line here because I want the floor to be equal on both sides. I'm going to now rotate here, and this is a really tough closet. It is only four inches this direction, right, right there, and it comes up still 80 inches, but it's only going to, this one, and yours are all standard 36 inches. This one just has to be a slightly smaller uh, doorway, and once again, I'm going to push pull here and click right there and then select this line and delete the line like so and there you go guys i'm gonna stop there you can see that i've added some doors i'm going to add the other doors that actually go in here i've still got the doorway that is over here. there's two doors here there's one here that goes kind of the back of the chapel there's miss warnick's door and then I'll add the door that lets us into Miss Harris's room. And then we'll uh, move on to how to do windows. All right.